have this to we have this to watch later. So thank you everybody so much for coming. This is one of our money master classes. We are going to be talking all about attracting abundance today. We have here with us Jessica Sorensen. So I will I'll let her do a full introduction of herself in a little bit. Um, but the way that I think of Jessica is the work that she does is so critical to having financial confidence, to having a good relationship with money, because so much of what we do with money is emotional and is about like our stories and our energy around money. So as much as we like to do practical work and give you guys tasks and give you action steps and have plans, it's so important to also take a step back and do this work around what is the energy that we're carrying um, what is our story around money? So Jessica, I will let you take it from there. I'm excited to learn from you today and to participate. So thank you. Thank you guys. I'm really excited you're all here. And today we're going to do an exercise that really is a pivoting tool or a manifesting tool. So this is going to be a really fun hour. <laughs> um, if you don't have a pen and paper, please go grab a pen and paper. We will definitely write today. And then let me know when everybody's ready. 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 Yay. <laughs> so this practice is, I actually was in, I was inspired by Abraham Hicks. If you guys know Abraham Hicks, um, by her rampages. So I just, most of my best stuff comes from when I'm really sad. <laughs> so I decided to try this out. And I, so this is what we're doing today. I call this an I like or I love list. And the exercise, oh, awesome. So that's really great. Um, Oh, Amy. Wrote Sorry, I don't know why I didn't just unmute, but I didn't want to like interrupt your flow, but then I did anyways. So. Interrupt. You guys are good. <laughs> so it, it's really great to know and be able to capitalize on when certain bad moods actually enable great work so that uh, it releases a little bit of resistance because very often most people don't like to be sad. I definitely don't like to cry um even though it's really good <laughs> and there's there's nothing like a really good cry and anger as well anger is another emotion that a lot of people really don't like to feel and so if you already know that good stuff usually comes out of it or uh, good creations that releases the resistance a little bit and allows you to go through it because all emotions are really important they tell you something really important. So anger and rage tell you boundaries that are being crossed either because you're not holding your own boundaries or because you continue to express your boundary and somebody else doesn't honor that. And it, it might be their emotional intelligence is just really low and, and they don't have the ability to respond. And then sadness is, you know, heartbreak and when you're not getting things that you want. And so this is going to be a really fun pivoting tool today. And then a couple minutes in, I'm going to have you guys introduce or include what if. And so these are, you can take it any direction you like. I like the trees. I like yellow. I like pink. I like red gemstones. I like rubies. I like jewelry. I like free jewelry. I like being given jewelry. Like I'm already getting excited. <laughs> so it can go any direction and you really want to let it free flow. And then I'll tell you when to bring in what if, and with what if it has to be in a good way. It, no catastrophizing cat allowed. You know that word. <laughs> so Sorry, I'm getting excited. So what if has to be in a like, what if I won the lottery? What if I won a shopping spree? What if the man of my dreams knocked on my door? What if I had a baby? Whatever it had, it, the point is you want it to be mindless and you wanna go fast. So I'm gonna set the timer for 10 minutes, but it is a race. 
And then I want you guys to fill one page and with no spaces. So just kind of like a run on sentence for the entire page. And you can, you can separate it with like a period or a comma or a slash. Um, that'll be nice for you to go back and look through. So you guys have your pen and paper and then just do I like or I love for a little bit. And then I'll tell you when to bring in what if. Okay, so does I like I, anything I like, I love, just keep writing. Yeah, okay. as fast as possible so okay. that it's mindless. And then you'll tell us when to switch to the other thing. So we just keep doing that. You can continue with I like and I love the whole time, but then bring in what if, if you feel like it. Okay. So I'll just like interchange. Okay. So, okay, here's, I just started selling t-shirts. So I'm wearing a new t-shirt. <laughs> so what if I sold a hundred t-shirts today? I like the color pink. I like affirmation. It can interchange. Are there any questions? Okay, so go ahead and start. And Yeah, I will. I have a timer going. Just keep writing. And then if you happen to finish, raise your hand or finished. We'll see who can finish first. Now bring in what if, if you feel like it, or alternate between I like, I love, and what if.
awesome. Claire is done. Yay. My forearm hurts. <laughs> That's awesome. That means you access the subconscious. So we'll go for two more people. Sorry, two more people. And then we'll move on to the next exercise. So do your best to write as fast as you can. Yay, Kenna's done. Good job. One more person. Julia. Yay. <laughs> okay. So you guys can come back to this. Yeah, that's awesome if it's messy. Is there anybody that really wants to continue for another minute? No? Okay. Um, I I got like a quarter of the way. <laughs> So you guys are really fast. This is awesome. How was that for you guys? Fun? Okay, so now um, feel it. Feel the truth of it and shake it out, dance it out, jump up and down if you want. Now I want each person to read what came out. Is everybody brave enough to do that? <laughs> Claire, it's big. Oh, I'll read. <laughs> it's Devony. <laughs> oh, okay, Devony. All right, here. Let me say hello. Hello. Hi, great to see you. Thank you. Yeah, let's read. Okay, sorry. Before Devony reads, so she'll read everything that she wrote. No judgment. It's all good. When Demony finishes, we're going to clap and cheer as if she won. Okay. I love it. Can I add that to my list? Yeah, you won. Okay. Um, all right, here we go. I love pottery. I like chocolate. I love real estate. I love dogs. I love my grandkids. I love money. I like purses. I like eating out. I love dancing. I like plays. I love travel. I like space, like my own space, not outer space. That's kind of cool too. Um, I love peace. I love pizza. I like TV. I like lavender. What if I sold pottery? What if I had five investors? What if I flipped houses? I love flipping. I love creating. What if I had my own? Oh, this one's funny. What if I had my own place? No, no, not that one. What if I felt peace? What if I didn't have to spend my energy on others when I didn't really need to? Um, I love soft things. I love learning. I like um, baths, hot baths. What if I got a massage every week? What if I could hire all my coaches? What if I could plan meals? I love eating healthy. What if I had energy? What if I slept well? I like to sleep. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I love that. Great job. Thank you so much for being first. I love your list. You're welcome. Thank you. I won. I'm going to write I won at the bottom. Yes, you won. As she was reading, I was like, I need to add more things to my list. Yeah. <laughs> go ahead. If anybody inspires you, add to your list or go on to the next page. Can I read next? Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, have, I think I, I finished first because I just have a short notebook, but that's okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um, I like food. I love dancing. I love rain. What if I 
ate too many oranges? What if I sat on a stick? I like money. I like bread. What if I lead my own movement? What if I made a hundred K in my private practice? I love my family. I love my friends. I like the internet. I like, uh, socks when I sleep. I love being comfy. What if my future husband ran into me? What if I love freely? What if I give up control? I like my bed. I love my animals. I love nature. I like the outdoors. I like pasta. I love the water. I love new adventures. I love supporting women. What if I what if I bring together a group of women in San Diego? What if I choose me first? What if I lived in Europe for six months? What if I had all my needs met all the time? I love myself. I love my grandma. I like fires and rain. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <Woo>. Very random. <laughs> yeah, it is random. Great job, Claire. Thank you. It's random, but as I, but as I heard it, and like the conversations we have, and I feel the same way about Devony, like it's random, but it isn't. it isn't. Like there's things that pop out. Yeah. Does anybody want to go next? I can go next. Yay! Yay! I also have kind of a short notebook, and I have a lot of names. They're like you know my siblings and pets that have passed. Um, but I wrote, I like myself. I like my kitties. I love my kitties. I love Sam. I love my parents. I love my mom. I love my dad. I love Dalen. I love Dawson. I love resting. I love learning. I love reading. I love thinking. I love Clara. I love Roscoe. I love Oreo. I love writing. I love decorating. I love cookies. I love breakfast. What if I wasn't anxious? What if I was easily understood? What if I'm okay? What if I'm on the right path? What if I'm here for a reason? What if the universe is kind? What if everything is beautiful? What if I never had to worry about money? What if I could give to my family? What if I never stopped learning? What if I never stopped loving? What if I'm perfect? What if life is beautiful? What if I'm beautiful? What if I'm love? Maybe emotional, I don't know. Amazing. Wow. Great job. So I, we'll try two more people. I wanted to do everybody, but well, let's see. Does somebody else want to go? Is there anybody that really is feeling doesn't want to read? Okay. Who would like to go next? It is supercharging to read it out loud. And it actually it makes me excited for you. And there's certain things as I'm listening to you guys, I know they're true. You know, when you're saying what if. I, like I can, yeah, it's already true. So that I can, I can go next if nobody else is gonna just okay. to like keep it going. But then, yeah. I, then I need somebody to promise that they'll go after me. I'm not the last one. Okay, <laughs> this is inside my mind. I feel like I could have written a lot oh, more, yeah. but I just started getting so messy, and then my hand started hurting, and I was like, I've written too much today. Okay. I like happy endings. I like deep conversations. I like holding space for other women. I like being a mom. I love when my kids sleep. I love feeling energized. I love coffee. What if I felt energized every day? What if I only had deep connections? What if I helped 1500 women take back control of their money? What if I met someone amazing? What if I had a partner who respected and supported my work? What if I got to travel with my friends? What if I felt like a good mom? What if we got $2 million in funding? What if we succeeded? What if first round capital picked us? Yay. Yay. Inside my head. <laughs> Yay, great job, Julia, or Amy, thank you. Okay, Julia. Okay, sorry if you hear my kids in the background, my husband has them. Um, I love chocolate, ice cream, pedicures, <laughs> retreats, traveling hanging out with friends, coffee made for me, sushi, the women from Camp Climb, my kids, my husband, helping people succeed in their businesses, cute clothes, extra cheese pizza, hot tubs, and decorating and remodeling. And what if I easily sold $10,000 in services a month? I traveled a lot while I worked. It all could be easy and joy feel filled every day. My intuition led the story and my day. I hosted a retreat for business owning moms. I had sushi from a restaurant every week. 
I got rid of all the stuff and people in my life that didn't fill me up. Thank you, Julia. Great job. We're going to go till 4.30. It's awesome that it's going a little bit faster. Or 30, wherever you are. <laughs> Who would like to go next? You can go. Yay. Um, yeah, full transparency. I, like, hate public speaking, so this is, <laughs> like, okay. my worst nightmare, but... Um, <laughs> I love the beach. I like my dogs. I love my family. I like my coffee. I love fashion. I like music. I like my yoga practice. I love nature. I like sushi. I like the cold ocean water. I like the feeling of the sand between my toes. I love my fiance. I like my job. I love fruit. What if I could buy myself anything I desired without worry? What if I could travel without restriction? What if I could feel youthful and energetic for the rest of my life? I like dance. I love live music. I like art. I love sports. What if I was active and could engage in endless hobbies? What if I could play any instrument I wanted to? I love kombucha. I love trying new foods and meeting new people. What if I had the family of my dreams without any concern? Hey. Sorry, you did, did great. great instruments was a good one they were all yeah i love everything does somebody else want to go i saw angelica thank you for your i'm sorry you have a sore throat okay nobody else wants to share i'll share mine because it's short um I love creating, I love designing, I love hot weather, I love looking hot, I love it when Fernando, my boyfriend, thinks I'm gorgeous, I love wearing dresses, I do love Fernando buying me things, what if I won a shopping spree, what if I became a fit model, which I meant a brand ambassador, I love receiving free clothes, what if my business took off, what if eight people signed up for my art of feminine presence class, so that's it was short. <laughs> I almost forgot the cut. <laughs> <laughs> so my favorite part of, actually, it was really fun to listen to everybody's. Um, we'll go through and work with this a little bit longer, but I want to give the two, so uh, Carly and Mary, I know this is a little bit of an intimidating process, but if you guys feel courageous to read yours out loud please interrupt and I would love for you guys to read yours out loud to the group so as I was listening to each person there was an energetic shift that happened and for me I noticed it's it's also roughly about halfway into the list I started getting like really excited like yeah what if this did happen <laughs> and as you guys were making the I like I love those are all things of comfort that you can turn to at any moment. So um, you've, you've heard the expression, filling up your own cup. So many of us don't do that enough. And so those are really obvious things that you can turn to, to turn up your self-love, your comfort, to fill yourself up, to make yourself more confident. So that's what stood out to me. I, I love hot baths and all that stuff too so great job guys and the fact that you read it out loud put the vibration of your desire out into the universe and then we're receiving that and also wanting that for you so there's multiple people holding the energetic charge of your desire and i hope that next time i'm back or whenever i connect with you guys again you guys tell me oh my god i can't believe it that did happen <laughs> It's, um, it has happened for me so many times. And when I do fill a page and then read it out loud, I am like stupidly excited. I'm like, what if it did happen? Oh my God, like what if I did receive $2 million or <laughs> had the family of my dreams? Like it's all possible, it's all possible. And I, I don't know the right steps 
but your subconscious does and your subconscious is working. So mm -hmm. we opened that up now. Somebody talked. Okay. It might have just been me being like, mm. okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's going to give you guys the opportunity to do a little bit of energy work. Would anybody like to do energy work around what came through? Otherwise, we can do more exercises with this. Nobody wants to try energy work. Victoria does. Well, Victoria does. I don't. I don't know what you mean by that, but I'm curious because I mean I definitely feel what you were saying through that, where I was like excited and then kind of felt like even nervous, but like excited while I was reading it. So. Yeah. Okay. So um, I, I do energy work for people. So what happens is I kind of, I feel into you and then I feel where certain things get stuck in your body or feel good and feel just like, yeah, that's the truth. I know. Like, um, so I used to cry a lot because I thought I was really not pretty. And um, like, if someone told me I was pretty, I like, I would just think they were a liar. <laughs> and then I would go home and, and cry. So that's, and finally, now I do think I'm pretty, you know, I have my good days and my bad days, and that's okay. But I have acceptance around that. And, but now when someone says, wow, you look really great, I can own it. And yeah, thank you. I know. So it's that kind of sinking in that we're looking for and i i feel where it gets stuck in your body and so when it does get stuck i'll direct you to breathe a certain way i will um be focusing only on you and i'll make your picture big so that i'm only seeing you so i'm sorry everybody else and then i'll help to run energy and kind of clear it out do you want to try that or no? Is yeah, it... sure. Yeah. It doesn't matter if my microphone's on or off. I would like for your microphone to be on. Okay. Because I'll, I'll ask you questions and um, yeah, so if you could respond. Uh, is there a way for me to pin her? Can I pin her, Amy? I can. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So Victoria, as you were reading your list, was there anything that made you a little bit nervous? Um, yes, I would kind of say all of it because it was the first time I'd done anything like that and it felt very um, vulnerable. Okay, thank you. And then was there any part of it that made you feel really excited or like, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so um, writing it and kind of just letting it go and then hearing it out loud and those things that were resonating with me as far as like, yeah, those are things that I, I love and like and um, not necessarily thinking too hard while I was writing it. Okay, so you liked when the flow released? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. And what what thing on there was something that you like you love and you know you love it and it just makes you feel really good to think about the beach the beach and, awesome. yeah yeah definitely okay. the beach so as you said the beach and you're like ah oh, yeah and you just kind of sunk down into your body and you mm -hmm. I, I could feel just like when you drink something delicious and it feels really good in your stomach mm -hmm. i felt that kind of sensation so that's, I think that's your yes, or that's like, um, that's what you want to look for that, ah, since the beach, like, as I said it, and I'm imitating you, my heart smiled and stomach felt good. Was that what happened for you? Yeah, definitely. All right, good. So that's what we want to go for, the feeling sensation. Okay, so now we'll go back to were any of the what ifs um, like a tinge of a little scarier, a little bit like, I don't know if that is possible. 
Yeah. Um, you know, just thinking about the future and um, family and traveling and just kind of the unknown, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a lot of unknown right now. <laughs> okay. So do you want to go with uh, the future is really big? Yeah. So um, maybe just current relationship and what my family future holds for myself. Okay. All right. So as you say, your family future, it feels very like luck choked up and you're kind of holding your breath. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Say, say your family future, say that my family future, my family future. Okay. And then choked up and now say the beach, the beach. Awesome. That's great that you can feel the difference. Yeah. Yeah. Pivot. Okay. So if you want to close your eyes, close your eyes. I'm going to guide you through a little meditation. And if you guys want to participate in the meditation, go ahead and close your eyes. So just feel love unconditional love and put a color to it. Tell us what color unconditional love is for you. Light blue, like teal. I love that color. So breathe <laughs> in teal. And as you breathe out, release whatever gray or stagnation doesn't serve you let it out good job so we're gonna focus or start at the head open up your crown chakra or your head and just you're being flooded with this loving unconditional love teal blue a lot to fill your whole head it's making the inside of your body sparkly brand new. It's cleaning you. Allow it to sink into your throat. Good. Allow this teal color to fill your lungs. Go down to your stomach. Fill your entire hips area. You want it to feel delicious. Allow it to sink out of your body through your root or your bottom. And it's continuing to flow through you like a waterfall. Gorgeous teal waterfall. It has all the right ingredients to transform everything you want. Assistance too. It's okay if you don't know. This teal color does know. Now allow it to flow through your head and out your arms. Good. When you feel comfortable, allow it to continue to flow through your hands. Put your hands on your chest area, on your neck or on your throat, a place that feels good. So you're running it through your head. It's going out your arms, through your hands and amplifying the love. It's transforming whatever you need transforming to make it into the highest possible version. And so many times we are not capable of visualizing the highest possible version of something. So just allow this teal color to do its own work. As you're focusing the sensation, 
of your hand on your chest, go ahead and say the beach out loud again. The beach. Great, how did that feel to you to have the beach energy be focused on your chest and throat area? Felt good. Nice. Calming. So if you're able to hear those ocean waves, go ahead and bring that in. Just like the tide, it's washing away and bringing in new life, new energy. And now picture each one of the people that are involved in your future family, hold them outside of you and wash this steel color over them, giving them whatever they need. Not what you need, what they need. And you're filling them up with what they need. And now tell them, I want you to feel the happiness of the beach. Say thank you. And now bring the next person if there is a next one. Make sure they stay outside of you. Fill them up with this loving teal color. Filling them up with whatever they need. Now let's try saying Ho'oponopono to them. So you can just repeat the words after me. Ho'oponopono. Ho'oponopono. I love you. I love you. I thank you. I thank you. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. And I am sorry. I am sorry. Good. Now fill them up once more with the teal color before we send them off. Thank you. Is there anybody else that you want to fill up with this teal color? No? Are you feeling complete? Yeah? Okay. So give yourself a very big hug. Thank you for being so brave to do the meditation. And I like to touch my hands to the floor. This helps to dump the energy and kind of balance you out again. So I'm gonna touch the floor. <laughs> um, I'll yeah. do it too. <laughs> okay oh, man <laughs> great job did you receive any insight or what did you um, out of that? yeah I mean I feel a little emotional right now but yeah. Uh, yeah just very like I'd say releasing like calmer than before was able to breathe deeper doing that good yeah yay <laughs> You can Thank, practice you. That. Thank you. You're welcome. You can practice that anytime. You can do a short version. I do one minute meditations many times throughout the day. And I'll just, sometimes I do it with my eyes open and I just fluff up my energy. So for you guys, um, you can feel your energy. I'll put everybody on the gallery view again gallery okay so you can fluff up your energy i'm going to scoop back so you guys can see what i'm doing and um okay so ideally your energy is about this it's about 18 inches all the way around and it's in every direction and even 
Most of us have very scattered energetic patterns when we are stressed about something. Yes, Ho'oponopono is so powerful. And I um, worked with Ho'oponopono for a long time. I have a lot of issues with forgiveness. I don't forgive easily. I, um, when I first learned about Ho'oponopono, I would get angry. And I was like, no, like, fuck them. They have to pray. Sorry for swearing. <laughs> but they have to pay. So, um, but you repeat it over and over and over and over and it does release something. Um, okay, so your energy, you can bring it in and it's roughly like that. And so if you guys bring your hands, you can rub your hands together and then feel the friction. So you should be able to feel it like this. And then see how far you're able to stretch out and still feel that tension. It should feel like polarized magnets. You know, when you touch magnets around direction, they kind of like, they don't, they don't like clap together. So you're feeling for this, that's energy. So now you're able to recognize the sensation. And as you get better, you'll be able to feel farther and farther out. So I, I can go pretty far out and still feel it. So that's, that's the close sensation is what you're feeling for. And then as you kind of fluff up your energy, you're just bringing it in like a cloud. <laughs> So Victoria, you can do that. Every time you go to the bathroom, you can fluff up your energy and just pad yourself with this loving teal buffer. Mm -hmm. It has its own intelligence. It knows what you want. It knows how to protect you. You don't have to focus on what you need to protect yourself from. And you just all directions. And if you do that many times a day, your energy will get stronger and stronger and things will start to change. It'll be like, whoa. Thank you. Thank you. Does, does anybody else want to try energy work around what showed up for them in the I like, I love list? Otherwise we can do different exercise. I would be open to some energy work. Okay, yay. We'll pin you. This is awesome that I can pin you guys. All right. Kenna, how are you? I'm good. Um, I'm definitely a crier. I feel like I was on the verge of tears just as I was reading. Um, good. Cry if you need to cry. <laughs> I probably will. <laughs> good. Okay. So as, well, what almost brought you to tears? What section almost brought you to tears as you're reading? Um, I think kind of the portion around anxiety and just like a path in life and doing things correctly. Um, I feel a lot of pressure, I guess, in that area and uncertainty. Okay. Um, and I can feel those emotions just coming up as I was reading. Yeah. I have had anxiety, panic attacks and you can't really talk about it without triggering it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, have you ever tried working with a timer of doing things in only 10 minute increments? I have not, no. Okay, that's something that has helped me a ton. So mm -hmm. like, okay, just for this 10 minutes, I'm gonna do this and then you change. Mm -hmm. That helps. Okay, so anxiety. And knowing your right path. Yeah, and I think just like inherent worth and value. Okay, well, if you continue to do this list every day and it should make you feel good, if it's not making you feel good, stop. Okay. Um, and so sometimes I can't touch the what if subject because sometimes I'm not feeling good and my mind goes like, what if I got in a car crash or so then no, right. but I like 
it's like that's pretty hard to go negative with that yes <laughs> so if you do the list uh I, I would set a timer for five minutes and do it and then you can throw it away or keep it or whatever that should help you a little bit okay do you have like self-care practices that you do i do yeah i do meditate every day and i do some yoga to kind of physically move through it yay okay so and then what on there felt like really awesome or exciting or I think a lot of the pieces about just like my family and people who love me unconditionally and like specifically thinking about my mom and like just motherly love and like the feeling of her embrace and even like, you know, combing through my hair, I can like feel my heartbeat starting to settle if I like go to that place. Awesome. Okay. So we're going to bring in some fill you with motherly love. So close your eyes if you feel comfortable take a couple deep breaths connect to the sensation of motherly love and i love to put a color to it but if you see an image go ahead and share that too I think so, it's like a, a very warm, like peach color. Beautiful. So feel the motherly love of warm peach. Before we start to float it into your body, I want you to recognize where it already exists in your body. So go ahead and tell me where this peach color, this motherly love already exists in your body. It's right. a little bit like my heart center. Your heart center. Great. So let's focus on that. Feel your heart center. Feel it expand so that it's touching your whole chest area. Feel it expand so that it includes your arms and your neck and throat. Hmm. Okay, feel the warmth of this peach color. Include and expand your stomach and your hips area. Good. Now we're gonna, are you comfortable floating in some universal love? Yes. Okay, so we're going to bring attention to the top of the head. Open up to only universal love. We can give it this same beautiful iridescent peach color. Allow it to flood your body, flood your head down to your throat. It's washing you clean of anything that doesn't feel good, any anxiety is being swept away. Allow it to flow through your legs, through your knees, through your feet. Allow it to flow out through the bottom of your body, through your bottom or through your feet and allow the excess to fill up the energetic boundary around you. This is a loving, protective shield. All we have to do is focus on it and fill it up for it to do its own job. And it knows to only let in good and love and things that make you feel wonderful.
And when, if someone hurts you, that's only because they don't know how to fill themselves up. So let them take the peach color, but not anything from you. And then we'll fill yourself up with the peach color again, because you are unlimited. And you feel bad for those people that don't know that they are also unlimited and can attract their own good. <sighs> Okay, what is something that would feel really wonderful to call into your life? Um, confidence. All right, what color is confidence? Mm, I think confidence is like a ruby red. Awesome. Let's flood your body with ruby red. Start with your head. Notice how you walk a little bit differently when you're filled up with ruby red. You might even choose to dress differently or eat differently. Okay, so ruby red is actually the color I want you to continue to connect with. I, I can see you walking into like a store or a workplace and you have yourself filled up with ruby red and people are like, oh, don't mess with her. <laughs> That's what I need. So what anchor would feel good for you to call into your life? I'm still running energy on you. You can keep your eyes open or closed. What anchor would feel good for you to incorporate into your everyday life to remind you to connect and turn on this ruby red confidence? I think probably grounding myself, really taking a moment to kind of root into the ground and feel powerful. Um, I think that's an emotion that I, I don't feel all that often. Okay. Is there any piece of jewelry, lipstick, painting your nail, anything physical that would help you to remember to feel powerful or confidence? I think like a nice lipstick, um, just something small that's a little reminder that I am powerful. Awesome. So you have a homework assignment to find the most perfect ruby red lipstick. And wear it at least once a week. Okay. Even if nobody sees you, it's okay. I'll still know. Yeah. You are, yeah, I love this. You are valued. You have clarity. You have support. energy feels incredibly strong right now I feel that too okay stay grounded the rest of this well the rest of this two minutes <laughs> and you can open your eyes and touch the ground whenever you're ready great job How was that for you, Kenna? That was amazing. Thank you so much. Yay, good. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, okay, we're at time. Um, does anybody have any questions or, any, I don't know, anything they want to share before we wrap up? Yeah, I always love hear, like, hearing, like, because I know somebody will be in the hot seat, but I think anything we do where there's like a group, 
especially with women, somebody else always ends up like something comes up for them too. So if anybody has something like that, like, oh, while Victoria was on, while Kenna was on, I felt this come up for me, go ahead and share. Um, because that gives me life too. So <laughs> Amy is totally right. When we witness other people um, have healing or whatever they shared, it also creates healing or manifesting for us. And you'll look fantastic in red lipstick, Kenna. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Thank you. <laughs> I guess I have a question as far as, um, because I, I think like practicing the I like, I love the what ifs, but any other ways to do things like that on our own, like energy practices or kind of ways to ground ourselves during the week when we're feeling overwhelmed or anxious? Um, oh, yes, there's a ton. <laughs> um, I'll share a couple that are coming to mind right now. So I love stones. I'm wearing a little amethyst necklace right now. I have shungite in my pocket, my jacket pocket. So I have stones, I have a selenite in my car. So that really helps me. What I would encourage you to do is to continue to do the I like list. And then um, you wanna do it as mindless as possible the way we did today. And you go back and highlight anything that feels especially good for you. So um, a lot of people wrote hot baths. A lot of people wrote water. A lot of people wrote sushi so those things that came up are things that matter to you and so if I hope that you do them more often so yeah, oh, sorry. doing that more often uh whatever color shows up wear that color more often I have a really bad habit of wearing a ton of black and beige and I love colors. I, this is, I love this color. I love bright colors, but I don't wear color that much. I don't know why. So whatever showed up in your list, highlight it or underline it and then incorporate that more often. The more you can fill your own cup, the more your anxiety will decrease. And then uh, anxiety is, this is like a, I don't want to say this because it's going to open a huge can of worms, but if you guys have questions, email me. My email, personal email is creativelyjessica at gmail.com. And um, so anxiety is, is really just a cover emotion for something that you don't want to be true. Mm. So I, I hope that doesn't make anyone feel bad. I, Wait, say it again. Anxiety is a cover emotion. It's like, yeah, like it's protecting you from getting to what you don't actually want to feel. So a lot of people believe that anger, sadness, or depression are not okay. And so if you believe any emotion is like hard, hard line, not okay, anxiety is going to replace that because it's like okay so this is the depression and then anxiety is like right here is like no 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 don't you're not allowed to feel that not allowed um so the anxiety is protecting you and so you just you want to build yourself up as much as you can every day and this doing the i like i love list should pivot you into a good mood but it'll also give you insight on what really nourishes and supports you. So if you, some, someone, I think it was Davey that wrote like, I love hot water. I love baths. Like she, they wrote things about water like five times. Then please make sure to take a bath every day. I love that. I love what you said about, so it's really quick and I know we have to wrap up, but so what you said about anxiety resonates with me because my I have really bad anxiety, but it comes up when I feel like I need to fix something instead of just sitting in it. And instead of just like, okay, so I'm, I feel sad. I feel like I failed at something or whatever it is. 
the anxiety is like, what are we going to do? How are we going to fix that? Um, and so I, one thing that I'm going to start doing is I love the color. I know one time you had done it with me, Jessica, with the light, a beam mm -hmm. of, of light coming down and just sitting and imagining that with my body when I'm feeling anxiety or when I'm feeling like I want to fix something instead of just like, again, sitting in it, like letting, letting the energy do its work, letting it, what you said about it, like it's going to protect me and knows what to do. I don't have to know what to do. Um, I think that's a really powerful tool. Yeah. So thank you for that. This was amazing. I love anytime we do these, these sessions. Um, if you ever have the opportunity to do energy healing work anywhere you go, like take that opportunity because it's so, it's so amazing. Even just witnessing other people, I feel like I get so much out of it. Um, so thank you all for being here. We have coming up in um, April, we have next month. So tomorrow we have two um, money dates, our group coaching sessions. So the, the first one's going to be April 5th or that week of April 5th. It's going to be about overcoming um, blocks around earning more money, which I think everybody needs to go to regardless of whether you feel comfortable within your own salary, because um, it's important to always thinking about like what's next and being able to have that abundant view of money. And then we're also going to have one later in the month around letting go of overwhelm. Um, in between there, we have a workshop around um, profit first, so making your business permanently profitable. So that's going to be an important one to go to if you're a freelancer or a business owner. Um, and then we'll have one later this month, the last week of the month around getting started with investing. Um, if there's if anything today or like it ever brings up ideas around what things you want to learn about, workshops you want to do, let us know and we'll find amazing people like Jessica to come in and share knowledge with you. Jessica, thank you so much. This was amazing as thank always. You. Thank you. And then can I share about my class? Yes. Yeah, for sure. Go ahead. Um, and so if you guys want to do more work, it'll be similar to energy work, but it's very tangible embodiment practices. Um, it's called the art of my presence and it's a six week series. And the first class is always free. So you're welcome to try it out and decide yay or nay. And the first class is April 18th. So you can email me directly or go to my website, fulfilledandabundant.com. Fulfilledandabundant.com. I think I spelled it right. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Jessica. Thank you everybody for being here and we will see you all next week. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Great job, guys.